Good morning. It is Monday. Um, the sun is attempting to peek out of the quarter over there on the other side, but it's um, definitely getting colder. So let us know how the weather is where you live. We have snow down to the bottom of the foothills around here. Yeah, all of the benches have snow. We didn't. So, you know, we're going to take that win, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, Zeb likes snow more than I do. I just, I love to look at it. I don't want to be in the snow. It's a good thing the kids have him because he plays in the snow. I make the hot cocoa and, and anxiously await their return. But we're um, headed thrifting today. We are going to start at DI um, because Goodwill doesn't open up until 10. So we're, our goal is to hit one or two Desert Industries thrift stores and then we'll hit Goodwill at 10 and hopefully that should round out our day. Well, we've been getting such good stuff at the Goodwill. Like we got, we probably need to start adding it every week to our stops. And not like tonnage, right? Like not enough for an entire thrift haul, but some really good pieces. And I'm finding the things that we're buying at Goodwill, all of them are selling, like, because what we're finding is, is a good mix. So we'll see if today holds true to that. Gosh. Is here. I usually score, but the last few times I've come, there haven't really been anything that I've been like really excited about. Oh, these are pretty. I don't know. Sometimes the little dishes don't say who the maker is. French Saxon Union made. They don't, they feel kind of like a mix between Corwet, Corelware, and China. These are my favorite. As usual, I'm a creature of habit. If you needed some fall foliage or pumpkins in the yard here, they've got you. Look at these statues. What are these folks? Some pilgrims with some Thanksgiving. Two dollars each. I'm gonna think on them. They definitely need a paint job if I was gonna get them. I like this little pitcher, $3, and the greenery's not bad either. I also like this tray. Does it unscrew? It flat packs for five bucks. Worst case, that'll be a display at the shop for something. I see something that catches my eye. Hopefully there's, oh, there's a big chip in the bottom. That would be cute otherwise. The spongeware is kind of making a comeback. This is made in Italy, $2. I'm gonna put it in my cart and think about it. $3, it's a good little, I wanna call it a vase. It's not quite an urn, there's no lid. Little wall pocket. We have great success with these. Sometimes we leave them rusty, but if we paint them up and put like an Ironwork of Designs transfer on these, they sell almost immediately. Oh, and another picture. No price on this one. Oh, four dollars. I'm gonna see if I can get that for less because this one's three with greenery. And I like this with the cast iron handles. It's it's got a really unique shape. I've never seen anything like this. Reminds me of a castle, which is probably what Jamie's gonna say when she sees it, and it's why I like it. <laughs> three dollars on that. So they just brought out another cart. And I found these cute little vintage dishes. This one kind of has a, like a Federalist pattern on it. This one looks like, um, what's, that? what's the what, carnival glass? They're all kind of pretty. Um, and then I found this. I always love these because they're so cute to paint. And I think this one was just a couple bucks. And then not like super amazing, but like my mom, and I know a lot of people like to have tissues. I always just use toilet paper, but this would be cute to paint and put in a bathroom. So I'm gonna pick that up for $2. I don't think anything needs done on this. It's $1.50, toss some flowers or some berry picks for the season, whatever you got going, and you're done. Look at this cool planter pot. It's all metal, it's rusted inside, which makes me like it more. And I'm also digging this ceiling tin style tray. So I see these candlesticks. I'm not a huge fan of the leaves, but I feel like those could easily be removed 
and then painted. This set would be cute. Two dollars and three dollars. So I feel like that's that's a good buy. You can see Zeb all the way over there, and his cart. It looks like it's pretty full. So he's he's done pretty good. Surprise, surprise. This did not sell for $7 last week. It's even damaged a little. I didn't even notice that last week. I'm still on the fence about that sponge wear bowl. I'm going to look it up, but I think I might put that back. Hopefully I don't regret that. We're starting to think about January. I love organizers. $2. This would actually be perfect for paint brushes or colored pencils. So I'm definitely going to pick this one up. So Zeb had to go take a phone call and I've combined our carts. I'm going to leave this here and then if he gets back and needs it, we'll have an empty cart here. Then I don't have to push two carts around. I'm always looking for cute mugs. These are so cottagey and there's three of them. I'm going to look and see if I can find any more because sometimes they get separated. But look how cute those are. They're only a dollar each. They've got these in the mug section and they're actually creamers. It says Wheatland Pottery. Um, only a dollar each and I think they're cute. I'm going to grab both of them. So I'm out in the yard and uh, I found this big. I think Zeb missed it. Three bucks? That's a good deal. I just found this bowl in the cart. It was five bucks. It's not particularly old, but it's really pretty. So I'm going to take that home. It's a nice giant bowl. It would actually be great if you were making multiple loaves of bread. Although I'm not sure if it's food safe, but still pretty. I'll look. I also found this crate for $5 that I want because we sold a couple in the shop last week, so I need to restock. And this is brand new with tags, chalkboard basket. I, it's really cute. So for $5, I'm gonna grab it. Found this cute little urn for a dollar. Look how cute that is. It'd be so like sweet with a little Christmas tree in it. So we spent $66. You can see we put the giant bowl in a safe location. <laughs> We're headed to Goodwill. They open up in a couple of minutes. There is a little bit of snow on the houses over here. At least, well, actually, now that we're driving this far, it's like going away, so I can't show you guys, but there is a little bit of snow over here. There was some on the on the rooftops, so maybe it gets a little bit colder at Goodwill. I don't know. Maybe. It's about... It's higher which, up on the hill. What, like 20 minutes from our house? 25 minutes? Yeah, 25. Yeah, not too far. If you look way far down, you can see there is snow on the mountains. <laughs> Sorry for the zoom in. <laughs> All right, so Zeb's gonna head out to the yard and I'm gonna go in and see what I can find in the aisles. Last week, there was some fun stuff here. They have the best stuff at this thrift door. A whole shed sitting here. Someone already bought it, but man. Random assortment of clocks. I think I only want this shelf sitter. It's three bucks. Can't pass that. That's terracotta. <laughs> this would be pretty cool, but I just don't want to deal with this floral and it's glued in there really well. And I don't want to just pay five bucks for this because it's plastic. Look at these candlesticks. They're like twall. And they look to be Asian, but they are so pretty. I'm gonna pick these up for sure. I spy with my little eye. One, two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah, I do want that one. I, the bamboo one, I think yeah, I'll leave, I but this one is not, and I can sand it and do like a copper repair right here. And, you know, deal of choice, $2.75, which do you want? Oh, I would want $2.75. This might be the biggest Ray Dunn piece we've ever found. Giant mug, $3. Pick that up, that's cute. Also, look how cute this is. Brand new, $3, kitty cat mug. This looks like an older game, $3. Let's see if the parts are in there. So the back 
We're getting pretty full here, but I think we still have room for Goodwill. Yep. Two we can put down the second row if need be. Well, and I think this time, I don't know that we're going to have to hit four stores like we did last week. No, I think it's going to be a three and done for we're sure. We're trying to be more picky and I feel like we're doing good. Yeah. We definitely have a lot more things that need to be painted here. We bought a lot of press tin. It's kind of the theme for the day. You know, sometimes you got to break out the brush and get some paint there to go in. For whatever reason, Goodwill is just not as busy, so it's not as critical that we get here right at 10. Although today might be the day we miss out on some good stuff, so we'll see. We usually wind up sharing a cart here because it's not as much stuff. Let's go hit the middle. I like the middle. All right, we're going to go with the middle aisles first. I have set down a bunch of rolling pins at the last store, but this one is cheap enough. I think $3 is a good price. I'm going to grab it. So this is kind of just a fun, simple easel it's falling apart on me it's made out of maple which i really like let me see if i can get this to stand up it's going to take two hands all right so what i like to do with these is not actually paint i like to use them to display art so i think i'm going to get it four dollars i'll put some art on it sell it as a bundle okay so i just found this rolling pin and i mean cute idea but i look how old that handle is it's a much older pin than it looks and i think we're just going to sand this paint off and just leave it the way it is. Cute little brass planter, $3.99. I'm going to grab that for sure. These I'm going to grab because the church librarian said we're low on clipboards and she's going to be so excited when I bring these in. No art the size I'm looking for today. Maybe up here. I might not have looked up here yet. I'm gonna pass on that. Garland. That is not my dream garland. Oh, those apples. <laughs> Oh, those are like new old stock almost. Uh, and these are actually just for the library at church. Oh, you picked up that brass uh, bowl. I saw it with the feet. Yeah, no, we've been selling like everything brass, so I can't leave it. Also, did you see these are cast iron? Oh, I didn't know they were cast iron. They looked like they were resin. Oh, they're cast iron. Nice. All right, last thrift store. So we are looking for things that don't need painted because we have a lot that needs to be painted. But they are good stuff. Is like, it a lot or is it just like regular amounts? I mean, I feel like it's regular, but it's that pressed tin. Yeah. And those items actually do paint up easy because you could just use like DIY paint, wet distress, clear wax, and they always look good. Like you don't have to do a lot to them. They just need updated. Yeah, they just need better coloring. Um, but I, we are looking for smaller things. So we do have a lot of large, like that giant bowl and the big organizer. We're just looking for some smaller things. So we'll see what we find. Anytime I say that, we find big stuff. We find big stuff. So I, I should say we're looking for big things, but then that would be... The car's already full. We, we got this whole row here, though. We got... We could put the seats and, down. There is a roof rack if it gets real dire. And we are closer to home, so we can go unload and come back if necessary. Nice. You buy what you can find. <laughs> All right, two cars. Let's do this. Not a dough bowl, has a hole in it, can fix all those things. So I'm in the kitchen aisle and I found this really cute batter pitcher and another rolling pin. It's been a good day for rolling pins. We haven't found any in forever and now I think we're on like four or five for the day. Candlesticks, how much is this? Three, three, one smooth, one's not. We'll take both. Oh man, where is the rest of this? There's no way that they just left the lid and that it was $20. These are super cute. I don't really like selling like the large ones online because they take up a lot of space in shipping, but they look great in the shop for hanging wreaths. So I'm gonna pick up both of these. So now I'm on the hunt for Dutch oven that would fit this. <laughs> I almost think I should put this in the car just in case. This looks cool, but it's not even resin. It's like formed plastic. Little tarnished silver bowl on a pedestal. That's fun, $2. 
Look at this mercury glass kind of apothecary jar. This is really cute. I haven't picked up a finial in a while. Three dollars. I'm gonna repaint it for sure. I always like to pick up these keys, but that one is not my favorite. This one's cast iron and it's cute, so I'm gonna grab this one. The other one was like 10. Looks like someone dumped their little collection here. Made in Japan. It's got a pretty good chip in it over here. Always pick up these little seashell boxes. Three dollars. Good shape. So I didn't find all the big stuff, but I definitely didn't find the little stuff either. <laughs> so I already picked up one vintage game. Here's another deluxe triple Yahtzee. Let's see if let's see if it's intact. Looks like it's all there, including the scorecard, so I'm gonna grab it. These are kind of fun. Are they just for decor, like wall hangings? Little wood cutouts. Check these out. Turned wood. I just like that this is cast iron. All this stuff's like four bucks though. That's cute. Three dollars. That'll be pretty painted. So these I'm just picking up because I need more canning jars. They're usually like between 25 and 50 cents. These are older, they kind of have wavy glass, but I need to can some pinto beans. And I thought I had some extra, but we've been using all the canning jars that we have. All right, comment below. This is creepy or should I buy her? I'm gonna leave her behind because I don't know. That one's not my favorite. They have a bunch of half gallon jars. I think I'm gonna grab some of them because no, I seem to need them for projects. This old treadle machine. Singer, I think. You know, about 200 bucks for this. Jimmy and I used to get these, but they just really don't sell well. I even fixed one and got it in running condition, and it still sat for like a year or two in the shop. The drawers are fun. These Fourth Rift store halls are... Uh, they're, they're not huge, like like in the past, they might have like filled up two tables. But at this point, uh, I feel like we're being picky enough. We've got some really good stuff on the table back it's there. It's like a mega high-end thrift haul. Goodwill came in clutch for us, as always. Not a ton of stuff at Goodwill, but just different things. Also, I apologize for the hot mess boxes. We are in we're the still middle doing the of floors. redoing the floors, and hopefully those will be done by next week. If you guys want to purchase anything that you saw here today, it's all going to be on the Saturday thrift haul. Um, and if you're interested in any of our finds, you can shop jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and thrifting. We'll see you on the next episode.